on this episode of Top Road Talk. Danny, what are we talking about? I actually got something I like to talk about right now. You make me feel some kind of way. Do what? Yeah, like when we talk about wrestling. I can't imagine talking about wrestling with anybody else. I only want to talk about wrestling with you. About to get real. Will you be brave with me? Welcome everybody to a new episode of Double Axe Handles Top Row Talk. I'm King Kong Chris. Danny Cutthroat Alzo. And we're here to talk about the upcoming WWE pay-per-view, WWE Battleground. The newest of the pay-per-views. Should be Hell in the Cell, correct? Apparent. I looked up this. Oh, you looked up? I looked up you looked this. Into it. Yeah, I looked up this. Tell me. I'm just going to... I'm going to pretend that that's the way you're supposed to say it. I so looked the up. more you say it, it's going to sound right. I looked up I looked this. up this. Hell in the Cell is at the end of the month. They didn't get rid of it. Oh. Yeah, I thought that too. So instead of being no more Hell in a Cell, we're getting blessed with two <laughs> pay-per-view events. That's what he's like, look how good we are. We're going to gonna be great and take 120 of your dollars. <laughs> Thanks. And on top of that, they're going to release a whole bunch of breast cancer shirts. Ah, that we're all probably going to buy. I'm going to buy at least three. Yeah, that's true. So anyway, um, going back to the last pay-per-view, which was... I'm Night of Champions. Night of Champions. Uh, we were six for nine. Yeah. Three of those matches were unannounced. Two, Two of those matches were unannounced. Yeah. But we got those wrong, of course. Yeah. Because we didn't have time to fester on it. So, ideally, we were six out of seven. Ooh. Which is a good... Uh, probably our best. <laughs> um, like we said, when, whenever we get a hundo percent, we're doing something awesome. Maybe we'll let you guys decide what we're going to do. Ooh. But whatever. Um, we're going to do something awesome. Anyway, so guys, before we talk about Battlegrounds, um, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, buy our CD on iTunes, um, talk to us on Twitter all the time. Yeah, we have lots of friends on Twitter, we would like some more. We would like more, and we like we to love just talk to all of you about yes. everything. So, how was this month, this past month's Raw and SmackDown? What do you think? They were good, they were good. I, I like, I like and don't like the vacancy of the WWE Champions. Yes. You have no champ right now. Um, I like it because it's cool because you don't know what's going to happen, but I don't like it because that's the only one they're focusing on. Mm. No other belts mean anything right now. That's true. Whenever Del Rio comes out, I'm like, oh, he's still the champion? I don't even know. I mean, yeah, I don't know the last time I saw Sandow on Raw. Hmm. I read it, I read somewhere, and I kind of agree with this, Okay. but it's kind of like blasphemous to say. You looked up this? I looked up this. Okay. I read somewhere that... The WHC belt uh -huh. is considered now what the Intercontinental belt was back then. Oh, so every every belt just got pushed down. Yeah, like in the sense of like the Intercontinental belt was like the second belt. Yeah. It was like, oh man, like I am like just now one step me. away from the face. And now for today's standards, that the WHC is that belt. Man, which sucks as well, also because of how. Great, the intercontinental belt is. Yeah, but now you have people like Curtis Axel, who pretty much does nothing. He's like just thrown into a storyline with, Dude, with great Paul, people. Yeah, but you look at somebody like Dolph Ziggler, who was given the World Heavyweight Championship. Mm -hmm. But I read about him that backstage, people don't think he's going to draw money in the future. Dang. So they don't think he's the future of WWE. Dang. Which means <laughs> That's rough. Yeah, it's like I saw this meme. They were like, he started from the bottom. They didn't even stop. Now he's back at the bottom. <laughs> So, yeah, we, let's hope that that's yeah, not true. We don't like talk about backstage antics too much, though, because God knows how true Yeah, I don't want to believe any of it. But let's get into it, guys. Word. So, the Battleground kickoff match Kick off. is going to be Dolph Ziggler versus Damian Sandow. Yes. There's a regular old singles match. Oh, kicker offer. I just had an itch. It's fine. Okay. I thought you were telling me that I had something. No, no, no. You can so, do that, too. That's fine. Do it, I, it feels good. All right. So, <laughs> um, I'm saying... We have not discussed anything. No, no we're, we're, going off, we're going off right the lip here. Here we go. I'm going to say for this match, Dolph Ziggler's going to win. Yeah, me too. All right, Dolph Ziggler's going to win this match. Yeah. Uh, th this match doesn't even have any background. No, hopefully they can actually intertwine it to where he can actually 
they can both help each other. Neither one really has any TV time. He's the money in the bank guy. Don't even. I'm sure people don't even know remember that. Dolph Ziggler was the world heavyweight champion. Yeah, I remember that day. Those were good times. That was That's great good. times. I'm getting sad. Let's look what's up else. Yeah. So I guess the next big match would be Curtis Axel versus R Truth. Uh, Curtis Axel being the Intercontinental Champion. And uh, there's not really much to talk about here. We're, we're, I think we both can safely say that Curtis Axel is going to win this. Yes, game. he will retain. Two for two. That's it. Done. Move on. Next I mean, that story was just progressed. Like, yeah. hey, R Truth, you want to be in this? Okay, blah, blah, blah. And two weeks later. There's something about R Truth where it's like, when he comes on TV, I'm like, oh. like, all right, R Truth, whatever. But I don't mind watching him wrestle either. My least favorite thing about him is now he's back to this rap. Yeah. And now he's got the little earpiece, I guess, because he was getting off tempo so much. Now it's just really even I mean, worse. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was hanging out. And also, one of, one of our friends on Twitter pointed out that he has a cell phone on his belt. I didn't really? see it this week, but I saw we saw it two weeks ago. I was like, you were correct. Whatever. I mean, I feel like Archie's one guy. When he's gone, I won't really miss him. I didn't know he was gone in the first place before. <laughs> so we anyway, didn't miss him. Let's move on. Next one. Um, Let's let's skip this one. Let's skip that one. That yeah. one's gold. Let's go to <laughs> <laughs> let's go to AJ Lee versus Brie Bella for the Divas Championship. Yep. I think it's safe to say. That's it. Oh, I don't. I'm nervous though. Why? I'm legitimately That's nervous it. about this match. Oh. Legitimately. Because Brie Bella was recently in this crazy little story with Randy Orton and Dan Bryan. Mm-hmm. And hold on one second. Now yeah. hold on. We're gonna off topic here. What did You're the good. bells? Yeah. The the bells were always hot. Okay, I don't know that's where this is going. <laughs> this is extremely <laughs> off topic so far. They're always like, like, you know, attractive, sexy. But recently, Brie Bella got like really hot. What happened? Is this me? I might just be. <laughs> they look exactly the same to me. Except on Monday, one was a lot tanner. I was like, well, you're tanner. Maybe that's what it is. Well, that was Nicole who was I was watching Raw and the scene where Rainier was like threatening Brie Bella, you should, have, you should uh, marry me. You should, should do, real man. you should do me. And I was just like, man, Brie Bella got Hot turn. I think she got skinnier. Oh. She's like fixing her pants all the time. Oh, yeah. You should maybe get a different size or maybe a drawstring. We're off topic. So, um, AJ's gonna win this match. I want AJ to win. Here's win. also why. Why? Because we're going to meet her. Oh, that's right. And it'll be dope for her to still have that belt. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I just want to see that belt. We saw the belt before when we met Caitlyn, but it'd be really cool to see it on AJ because she's. You know, Wait, Jersey home home. That she had the belt. That's what I just said. You said that. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. No. Um, well, oh, did so she have the belt there? Oh, she had the belt there. Was right. Go to the picture. I'm sorry. I was too busy looking at her. This guy. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's what we're hoping for. Yeah, I would love for her to retain the belt. Like, it makes me nervous though. Well, maybe be, like, they won't. Be, like one of the first years, but I'm actually really, really interested. Yeah, in maybe the they won't switch the belt until Total so, Divas comes back. Yeah. Because then, but what then. they're filming it now, though. Now, though. What now, they're, though. What now they're filming it for now, and they want that title change on the show that we don't watch. I don't want that. I don't want that either. Anyway. AJ. AJ AJ's winning. We're done. Here. All right, next one. Uh, Alberto Del Rio versus Rob Van Dam for the WHC championship. Del Rio is the champ. Don't care still. Didn't care last month. Don't care this time around. It's true. I'm going to say... Because it's a hardcore match, I can't see oh, anything. I can't see anything but the money in the bank being cashed in. It has to. Hardcore match is going to... They're at least going to get... 25 to 35 minutes on that match. Okay. They're both going to be brutally beaten and gassed <laughs> to where Dana Sandow should just win automatically. Yes. I. I well, no, Rob Van Dam's going to win, and then Dana Sandow's going to cash it. I would like that. I don't. If RVD wins, he better cash in because RVD does not deserve the title. So I'm, you know you agree with me. Don't I do. you dare I do. try to play devil's advocate right now. I'm not now. playing any advocates. You're advocating the devil <laughs> I'm not right now. advocating the devil. The devil is and alive. And let's dial it back. Let's dial it back. <sighs> okay, so we're, win. No, no. we're, screw we're the, final. Screw the, screw the money in the bank for now. No! No, let's talk about who's going to win this match. Who's going to win this match? 
our video. And we're just gonna throw in like some chips in a gambling match. We're in, we're upping. This yeah. is, I, we don't gamble. I don't know. None yeah. of us know this term. <laughs> that David Sands raising. Oh, oh, raising the pot. We're smart. Um, is going to cash in. Okay. Ooh, raise cash. Let's see. We're, we're all over it. Whew. We're all over it. You would have thought we were gamblers. Who would have thunk it? And then the Rhodes, Cody Rhodes and Gold Dust. With Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream versus the Shield. I uh, want Goldust and Cody to win. I would love them to win, but but they're not. Uh, yeah, one <laughs> of our friends on on Instagram said that uh, it'd be it'd be better if they lost because then that makes the Shield and Triple H and the McMahon's so much more powerful, which I never thought of. But I could totally agree with that. But yeah. I don't want that. Yeah, I well, need to see Cody. There's something. There's something really. Um, um, trying to find the right word. There's something really like, magical seeing Col Cody and Goldust together. Yeah. Um, maybe because you know we've been watching Goldust for a long time now, yeah. for a good long time, and when we you know finally got our love back for wrestling again, Cody was like one of our favorites first. It was like, man, Cody's such a great wrestler, man. He's gonna go places. So then seeing them together is like kind of like. Like a little heartwarming. Yeah. yeah, I was like, man, this is awesome. Like, I just watched them two wrestle. Correct. Yeah. And plus, we've wanted Goldust and Cody to face the Shield since this feud started. Yeah. And then it kind of went nowhere, and then it's back. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, sir. <laughs> well, that was me. So, anyway, so. Sorry. With that being said, the Shield's going to win. But oh, we would buddy. like. I know. So. Yeah, 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 I agree. I think it's going to be cool just watching them fight. I think just watching them match going to be pretty awesome. And Dusty's gonna be there. Which I think that match could steal the show. Yeah. Which, by the way, how awesome was Dusty putting his hand in front of Stephanie McMahon's face on Raw? I've read that right. Stephanie was not happy with that. Oh, God, see, I don't like reading stuff like I that. I don't like reading, but it's Dusty Rhodes. I don't care. He can do whatever, whatever he wants to be. Match on the pay per view is. Again, in this little storyline of craziness, CM Punk versus Ryback. Mm -hmm. Or Cryback, as people call <laughs> um, So, yeah. I, uh. CM Punk's gonna win. Yeah, he has to. Uh, he, he can't lost, lose forever. Lost CM, CM Punk. He lost, CM Punk lost CM Punk last time. Yep. He CM, Punk it up. <laughs> CM Punk lost to Paul Heyman last time, so I feel like now he just needs to win and just end this storyline. Yeah. Um, I feel like it can't end that so, so simply. Yeah, I guess. I just feel like, I mean, the story, the stories that we're getting, like, like last time we had the whole Ryback and Paul Heyman, Paul Heyman proposing to Ryback. That was really funny. That was great. Hilarious. Great moment. In the crowd, you had to get a room and stuff. That was actually really funny. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I guess they continue making like great little bits like that. I guess I'll continue taking the story. Yeah. Just put Paul Heyman on a mic, and I'll, I'll listen. It doesn't oh, matter. Paul Heyman is awesome. Uh, but yeah, I feel like the same person will win. And that's pretty much the end of that storyline. Yeah. Like. He's run out of Paul Heyman guys to fight. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> He's fought them all. Um, so yeah, and then after that, I mean, I guess it seems like he'd be thrown into the WWE title scene or something. Or any scene. Um, sure. Just anything to end this one. Already. Yeah. I don't really know what else to say other than the Punk needs to win. Yeah. I don't know how it could all culminate at Hell in a Cell instead of Battleground. Mm. Why is Ryback on the poster of Battleground? <laughs> it just, it was it just came out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, it's, it's dumb. Um, and then finally the main event. Here we go. Another great one. This is what, their third time now? Or second time? Second time? Third. Third time? Dan Bryan. No, I don't know. Dan Bryan versus Randy Orton for the vacant WWE title. Yeah. Which is going to be awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm calling D. Bryan. We were wrong last month. We said Randy Orton was going to win. No, we were right. We said Dana Bryan was going to win. Oh. We did? No, we did. What you are remember? we... Hold on. No, I'm no, thinking of SummerSlam. Yeah, Hold no, on. in the last one. Night of Champions. Champions. Yeah, we said that Randy Orton was definitely going to win. And then Dana Bryan ended up winning. I don't that think word, so. that word count. 100%. Remember, we were like, we want Dana Bryan to win. But Randy Orton going to win. And we were wrong. Because then Dana Bryan got that weird... Oh, okay. I, I don't really remember. Anyway, we were wrong. And then now, tonight, I think we're going to... I want D-Bry to win. I do too. 
I feel a sneeze coming on. So it might just happen in time. A lot of a lot of our friends on Twitter are saying that something's gonna happen to where one's DQ'd or whatever, and the title will still be vacant, mm. which would be crazy. Mm. It would be ridiculous. See, I can see Randy Orton winning, but because it was a vacay, a vacay, uh, a, a vacant slot, this will still give Dan Bryan another rematch. Yeah, either way, we're getting a, another one. Because they're both number one contenders, then after one loses, it still yeah. becomes, the next one becomes number one contender. Possibly the next one in Hell in the Cell. Yeah. With Dan Bryan and Randy Orton for the belt in Hell in the Cell. Yes. In a Hell in the Cell. Yes. That'd be nice. Alright, but we're going to say, for Battlegrounds, the winner is going to be... d it makes me nervous to say that, but I need to say it. All right, so D-Bry's gonna win, and then, and then Hell in the Cell, he's gonna beat Randy Orton for sure. That's All right, it. Let, let, let's not jump the gun. I'm just saying, and that's it. And that's gonna end that storyline. Randy Orton could get severely injured. Yeah, and then Triple H will find a new guy to hunt Dan Bryan down. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to jump the gun. I just want Daniel Bryan to have that belt. <laughs> It's longer long. than overnight, because <laughs> that was that's the longest. He's held the belt for what? Maybe a total of twenty-six Summer Slam was, hours. SummerSlam was for like what? A minute. And I think it was like three minutes. The next review was a night. A so night. the next one's gonna be a week. Great. You're lose it again. Great. And the next one's gonna be like for a month. You lose it again. That's how that's how it's gonna work, man. I know. It's terrible. <laughs> it's a, it's it's a, a horrible idea. It's, it's, <laughs>